So our next movie of the night is uh, Hustle. A basketball scout discovers a phenomenal streetball player while in Spain and sees the prospect as his opportunity to get back into the NBA, starring Adam Sandler, Queen Latifah, Ben Foster, uh, Juancho Hernan Gomez uh, as Bo Cruz, uh, some other, a uh, lot of other uh, NBA talent, uh, Jaleel White, um, Robert Duvall make cameo appearances. Um, hustle. Yeah, so that, like like you said, a lot of NBA players playing. Uh, one short ago, is plays for the Utah Jazz. And I mean, the thing about this movie that I think, you know, to set this up is that it's showing how hard it is to get into the NBA, like how hard that training is, all those things and what it goes through. And it also showcases Adam Sandler as, once again, a great actor. I think this is one of those things where – you know, he gets underrated for doing his movies that he does because they're funny or whatever. But if you see Uncut Gems, um, and you've seen Blue, um, why am I losing track of the uh, all Thomas Anderson movie he was in? Uh, that's also very good. And, and so it's just like, he's a really good actor. And to go into this movie where he's playing this, you know, significant role, Queen Latifah is his wife. Uh, Ben Foster is the foil to him uh, in the Philadelphia 76ers organization. And for me with this movie, it was just like, wow, it's really hard to be a professional athlete, which we all kind of knew, but like, we didn't know how hard it was. And then I looked up at Juancho Herman Gomez's numbers with the Utah Jazz. Yeah. And you're watching <laughs> this guy run these hills. And I know this is a movie and like things are exaggerated, but they're uncut scenes of him just shooting threes and making like 10 in a row. And they're like, Oh, okay. Like that's insane to watch a you know, player do that. And he averaged 10 points a game for the jazz. Mm -hmm. And so he's, you know, obviously just an average NBA player. He was a first round draft. He was a first round pick. He was a first round pick, but at this point he ends up being a, you know, an average NBA player that is like Mm -hmm. a good player on his team, but obviously not a Steph Curry. Yeah, and he's no, he's no all star. He's no all star, and it's just like, but that's how hard he worked to be an average NBA player, and that's what I thought was really cool about this movie it was to show that like other things, and we'll get into it. But like that, that was my main thing was like, a, I would just, I, I, talk, I sent a text to you guys, uh, like I would love to just have a personal trainer just get after it. Like that's just a thing for me. Whereas like if I could just go hard, getting after it, and just you know have a good time that would be amazing just to have that kind of thing where you're like, let's get up at four three five. You're going to run these hills. You're going to eat these foods. You're going to do all this stuff. So I thought that was really cool. And they get the NBA players involved. And yeah. I thought that was really cool. And like, you know, obviously like NBA players will do movies and it doesn't really matter. Like a lot of times, but for so many to get involved and for so many to actually take this seriously, I thought it was a really cool aspect of this movie. Mm-hmm. I also thought it just actually does basketball movies are usually bad in the basketball end of um, things on the basketball yeah. end of things, you know, as much as I love Hoosiers, that movie's awesome. The basketball is really weird because they just well, play the same clip a lot. And it's old too. And, it's old, but yeah. it just, I mean, it's like, that's a We're great, great run movie. The picket fence. Yeah. Yeah. But this movie like actually showed basketball being basketball and yeah. without a lot of extra stuff it was you know and then the storylines behind it were good but it was more important about like this guy just trying to be an nba player and his family matters and adam sandley's adam sandler's family matters but this was more about like how hard it because it is to be like a professional athlete and i think that's like taken for granted a lot of times because we don't we're not going out there seeing 95 mile per hour cuts. You know, we're playing high school baseball. We're seeing, you know, 80 mile per hour pitches are hard to hit, but nothing, they're not moving or anything. You're scared you're going to hit stuff like that. And it's like, you know, I come away from a day where I almost saw Tyler Anderson throw no hitter against the angels and the angels are bad now, Mm -hmm. but they also have Shohei Otani and Mike Trout and he almost threw a no hitter against him. Otani broke it up. It was just like professional sports are really hard to play and to showcase it in a way that this movie did, I thought was really important in that way of like, there's a reason why only like 0.5% of people become professional athletes. 
And that's what made it cool. Yeah, I thought, uh, honestly, <clears throat> when you sent me the trailer uh, for it uh, a couple of weeks ago or whatever, I like glanced at it. And I was like, I don't really want to watch this. I don't, <laughs> I don't buy Adam Sandler. Like, I don't, I don't like Adam Sandler too, too much anymore. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know of an Adam Sandler movie that I saw literally after Happy Gilmore that I was like, I like this. And I was so surprised by how much I liked this movie. I don't think I, I don't think, I don't think once I got going that I picked my phone up once. And that's really saying something this day and age. And I was very, I was very captivated by uh, Juancho Hernan Gomez. I thought he played that role pretty well. Uh, It's not, I don't think it's easy for an athlete to be believable in a movie. I mean, we saw it with Space Jam with LeBron. It was, that was not, not good. Um, or even going back to the original space, you know, with Michael, but those guys are usually regulated towards cameo type things. Right. And even right. what some of the other guys did, uh, Anthony Edwards playing kind of the main foil to Bo Cruz, uh, believable, you know what I mean? Just sure. from a trash talking standpoint and all that. But like, you know, the other guys that got into it, they're really just playing themselves, but I, I can't think of another movie outside of He Got Game where an athlete plays the role and plays it believably. And so uh, kudos to him. I mean, I hope he, you know, continues to develop in the NBA and and stuff because that's obviously his goal. But, you know, I thought he did a wonderful job. I thought Adam Sandler was believable as this sort of scout turned coach turned, you know, personal trainer. Um, Kenny Smith was you know bouncing around doing he wasn't kenny smith he was basically kind of like an approximation of kenny smith realistically but right yeah i really i actually i was surprised that i enjoyed this movie as much as i did because going into it i was like i don't think i'm gonna like this but i was very pleasantly surprised and i would certainly recommend this to anyone who is any a sports fan absolutely recommend this sure yeah, and just like before we wrap this up, Puncher Glove was the movie I was thinking of with Paul Thomas Anderson. Okay. I'm saying it's a great movie. Yeah, I was looking at and his then, IMDb. I yeah, think. a Puncher Glove, and then I would also recommend Uncut Gems as Adam Sandler movies. I mean, he is great in both those movies. He's great. I like. I like him in other movies too. I really do. Like, I like his silly movies. But if you're looking for just him being really good and stuff, um, he's yeah. like it, that's where he showcases it. It, it he's one of those things like why do a hard movie you can do an easy movie and make a bunch of money and yeah but yeah um yeah, i didn't hate i'll tell you what the yeah. first grown-ups movie i thought was decent the oh, second the one was yeah. not and the first the second, second one's one not good bad. yeah the second one's bad first one's not bad so um what would you rate this bring uh i'd give it a solid mm, 7.5 8 Literally, what I was going to seven point five. Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked it. Like I said, for sports fans, absolutely recommend. Absolutely recommend. Sure. If you're not, Janie yeah. loved it. She loved yeah. it, and yeah. she's not. As, you know, she likes sports a degree. She also just like did not know. Obviously, why would she know who Wancho Herman Gomez is? And yeah. I told her he plays for the Jazz, and she's like, "Cool." Like, she just saw he was good at doing what he was doing. It's like that's solid for him. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was it was good and and I would recommend it for sure. 